Hello everybody, it's Lucas McIntosh here and I'm back with some more Street Fighter 2 Turbo for the Super Nintendo Classic Mini. Thank you so much for taking the time to check out one of my retro Let's Play videos, I really appreciate it. If you are indeed enjoying my content and would like to see more, why not hit that red subscribe button, comment, like and share this video with everybody that you know. Anybody you think might be interested in this type of content, it really helps with YouTube's algorithm and it allows my channel to grow and also allows people to find and access my content on a much more regular basis. And last all of business don't forget to follow me on twitter at dodge this game for all latest happenings on my youtube channel dodge this okay so i'm back with some more street fighter 2 turbo and once again i'm going to be doing the normal option so let's crack on so it's been a few days since i've done any so i thought i might as well get it done as these videos are proving to be most popular on my channel and people seem to love them i have done other let's plays and people are just like nah we want more street fighter essentially well they're not directly saying that but the views kind of don't reflect you know the fact that they're that popular so people love street fighter so i thought i might as well give give you guys what you want and i love doing street fighter videos anyway actually probably my favorite thing to do and i'm getting zangief now um so i thought i'd plump his old vega today see if i can make my way through the tournament there you go any excuse to play this game though it's probably my favorite out of the whole series personally it's just it's just got everything that you could possibly want of course i do own super street fighter 2 so i might do some of that actually as well while it's on my mind I have to say one thing, Zangief's really tough when you're playing as Vega. So I'll just take little sort of short jabs at him. Oh my god. See if I can just pick him up and throw him. No. Oh, there you go. Victory is mine. Alright, we're off to the races. That's Zangief taken care of. Right, you have to watch it because Vega is very sort of agile, but he's also very vulnerable as well. So some of the other bigger characters or, or even more um, versatile characters with projectiles can kind of take him out quite easily. Right, we're against Dalzim now. Dalzim tends to be pretty slow, so I'm hoping my speed and uh, agility will kind of take him down. There you go, look at that. No messing around. Alright, look at that. Too easy. Oh yeah, I could do this all day, Dalsim. Oh yeah, and just chop him down in the chest there and Dalsim goes down. So yeah, I like playing this because compared to other versions, it's really, well for me anyway, it's really easy because now I know how to play the game. Um, it's just more enjoyable, I suppose. And I suppose that the same can be said for any version of Street Fighter 2. The last one I did was Hyper, no, Street Fighter 2 Hyper Fight. And I get so confused, there's that many versions of the game. So yeah, I'm going to be doing quite a plethora of Street Fighter 2 videos on my channel from now on. People, as I said, people really enjoy them. I get more views on them than I do any of my other Let's Plays, so you know. I'm happy to do Street Fighter 2 videos if that's what you guys want. Oh dear, there you go. I'm taking care of Dalzim. Yes, victory is mine. I would love to have a flawless run through this game and not lose to any character. That would be awesome. Maybe I'll aim to try to do that one day once I get better at the game. Alright, so Dalsim's down and we're off to Japan. Alright, Mr. Ryu now. So I've learned my lesson from fighting Ryu and that's to back off. Oh shit. Alright, I can't back off now. I need, to just... I need to take him out. Oh god. I wonder if he's got any special moves. There you go. Nice. Oh, come on, man. I can't even avoid this freaking fireball. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> that was awesome. Honestly, I thought I'd won the match there. That's why I kind of hesitated. I did that block and I kicked him. Or I did something. I thought, oh, he's dead now. But no, he's not. That was my fault. Right, I need to I need to stay back. Jump at the right time, basically, because I'm... Oh, come on, man. I can't even avoid the Hadokens. I don't know why that is. That's ridiculous. I've got an agile character, and I can't even freaking avoid... Let's just take him out. Oh, my God. Oh, God, yeah. Ryu's 
Whoops, my butt again. You lose. It doesn't help because I don't really know any of Vegas special moves, so we'll see what we can pull off anyway. Here, I'll keep going. I love, I love his um, game over screen though. His mask is smashed and his claws are kind of bent. You know, it's a bit of a weird analogy that I'm going to give you now, but it's kind of like Mary Poppins when uh, Mr. Dawes bends, um, sort of tries to embarrass Mr. Banks by kind of putting a hole in his hat and just kind of. He like messes up his umbrella to try and you know make a fool out of him. I always remember. <laughs> I know a bit strange comparing Mary, Mary Poppins to Street Fighter, but that's the way I roll on this channel. Strange analogies. I'm just a very strange person in general, really. Oh god, I just got dragon punched into oblivion there, and I'm not. I'm not doing any tactics. I need to be a little bit more tactical here. I cannot go toe to toe with Rio. I don't know why. I always think I can. Oh, just fuck off. Oh. Oh, it's an absolute git. I can't... Oh, no way, man. I cannot get anything in on Ryu. I try staying away from him and he just goes near me. I just don't know what to do. But at least he gives me some signs of encouragement anyway, so that wasn't too bad. I thought it would be about time I played this one of the big bad bosses. Now, Vega is quite powerful. I just need to know how to use him, essentially. Even Stevens. Oh, come on! Stop with the freaking dragon punches for five minutes. I got him. There you go, bloody hell. I get so fed up with uh, that shuriken, uh, uh, you yeah, know, all the bloody time. Ken is the worst, man. Ken just drives me nuts. Here we go. Move. Oh shit. Oh god, I'm dead. Well, I tried, guys. At least I did that. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. Man. Ryu is hard. I tell you what, he's like, like a pretty boxer now. I cannot get anything in on him. I cannot beat this guy. Oh shit. I just have I just can't seem to adjust to Vegas friggin' speed. Oh come on, just give me something. Give me something. There you go, bloody hell. Oh my god, so that's the trick with Vega, it seems, going for the kill. With Ryu, it's difficult though, it's a balancing act, because if you back off too much, Ryu's just gonna like destroy you. If you don't go in for the kill, sometimes then you won't do it. Oh god, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this, but here we go. Come on. Who's got any other moves? This is ridiculous. Come on. Oh, just in time. Look at that. That was awesome. <laughs> I was like tapping those buttons like crazy. So I used the thumb buttons on the L and R and that seems to work. Okay. Right, Mr. Eddie Honda now. Here we go. Let's see how Eddie Honda's going to treat me today. He's normally a spammer, but let's see. Okay. Seems to have calmed down a bit today. He's got his 100 hand slap though. There you go, nice and easy. So it's not it's another wrestler versus wrestler battle Yo, here. I love the way the freaking billboard lights up up there. And I always love those little touches, like in India when you beat Dallas and the elephants like roar, that's quite cool. 
Okay. Oh my god. It's me in my face. <laughs> Bloody hell. This is not going to be good. People see me on Monday. Where have you been? Fight Club just got back. <laughs> oh, sod off, Eon. Oh, you. Oh my god. Absolute git. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Round three, the final round. Can I do this? Do I want to do this? There we go, we'll just do this. Back off. Oh God, I'm not taking any chances with this crowd. There you go. He would just 100 hand slap me to death. Now on Street Fighter Hyper Fighting, Street Fighter 2 Hyper Fighting I should say, on the uh, Capcom Classics collection, like, there's a glitch. You can be f far away from me, Honda, and he'll do his 100 hand slap. And it's not actually touching you, and you'll still take damage. It's a bit like Ryu and Ken can like dragon punch you without touching you. It's really bizarre how it works. The hitbox is so dodgy. Right, Blanca now. Can I beat Blanca or Jimmy to his mates? Let's give it a go. Oh god. It's not looking good. Oh come on, I cannot get in anything on this guy. Oh, come on, I blocked it. I tried to block it. Not bad, though. Not bad indeed. So, that's how you know you're getting good at the game. When you can take their energy bar down, even when you're about to die. So, that's quite cool. I'm going to just do this and make little jabs at him. This seems to work. Come on, Jim. Fight me. Definitely Lou Ferrigno inspired, I think. Who doesn't love the old school Incredible Hulk with Bill Bixby and uh, Ferrigno? I used to love how, like, in the episodes of Incredible Hulk, um, after changing into the Hulk and changing back, it would be like the same shirt was like in every episode, the same check shirt. You would get it off like different washing lines, but it was always the same one. Oh, shit. Oh, God, back off. Oh, God. Yes, that always made me laugh. And you got that sad walking away music at the end. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I've got the Hulk. I've got the entire collection on DVD. Huge fan of the show. Saturday evenings, man. Knight Rider, the Hulk, A-Team. Those were the days. Apparently they're talking about making a new Knight, Knight Rider movie. That'd be pretty cool. I'd definitely check that out. I'm, I'm one of those guys, I, I wish the 80s would have never ended because it was such a great time. Come on, Blanca. There you go. So he's down. I think we're up to Guile next, maybe. And then... And then old Kenny boy, which I'm not looking forward to fighting, but, well... Cross that bridge when we come to it. It's always the same sort of roster of fighters on uh, Champion Edition anyway. Because this is normal mode, but it's really just Champion Edition. So with this game, it's like two games in one. At the time, this was about 65 quid in the shops. I know this because I watched an old episode of Games Master. Um, and they were talking about how great the, the game was. And it's like, but it's like 65 quid, you know. And we were, Oh, there you go. And there was a lot of talk of like, well, we've seen it all before. But I'm like, well... How can you, like, you're not exactly buying the same ga game toys because, all right, it's got the same stuff, but there's, like, every version of Street Fighter 2 is kind of an improvement, really. Oh, shit. Oh. Walked into that one. Not bad, though. 
All right, Guile's kind of tricky. Never know how to take him sometimes, so I'm just going to back off here. Use my claws and just sort of claw him a little bit. Take little pot shots at him, little jabs. Oh, I didn't know I could do that. There you go, back off. That's the thing with Guile, you got to know when to back off. Sometimes. Oh, come on, stop flash kicking me, git. Come on, come on. Yeah, that's what you get. That's what you get. You can put stick your flash kick where the sun don't shine, pal. Because it ain't going to work with me. Oh, yeah, it goes down. Thank you for a gorgeous time. Oh, the bonus stage. Another one. Again, I'm just going to randomly mash the buttons. Oh, come on. This feels really awkward, though. Like Vega does for some reason. So I'm just tapping the L and R with my thumbs. There we go. Two out of two so far. Nice. Alright, I believe it's Ken next. I think. Sorry, just moving my Fitbit. It's my Fitbit is like like reaching up on the other side, like a bit further up my wrist, and it's a bit painful. So I've got it on its like the lowest hold as well when you pull it on, and I'm like, oh, it's a bit uncomfortable sometimes. Oh god. Shit. I'm breaking my own rules here. Oh bloody hell, the fight's over. That was quick. All right, he beat me, he beat me. Again, I'm not following my own strategy. I need to back off from this guy. 